Salutations, travelers. Welcome to the Fabled 42, um, where we uh, build community through <laughs> friendship, gaming, and chaos. This is going well already. Um, you are watching the Fables of Gallia, which is every Friday um, at 6 p.m. PST. Uh, so before we jump into episode two, guys, um, we have some announcements. Uh, Diane, is it you just start? Yes. I was muted. YouTube, uh, we have one. You should go check it out. Fabled 42 YouTube. This episode will be live. I can never remember my schedule anymore because we have shows almost every night of the week, you guys. But Monday. Galia will be Monday. Mondays. Well, you remember one. I remember all of them. <laughs> <laughs> or I try to remember them, but I fail. Um, this episode will be posted on Friday. So if you want to watch it again, or if you're not able to catch all of it, you can go there on Monday and catch up. You can also watch all of the past episodes and all of our other shows. Like I said before, almost every night of the week, we have a new show being posted on YouTube. So check us out, make sure you subscribe. So you get notified when that goes live and we will have a podcast that we will give you the information for as soon as it's a thing but same thing wherever you listen to that podcast just subscribe so that way you know exactly when it goes live this is over <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should right. refrain from that one <laughs> <coughs> all right Paul, what you got yep special thanks to our first sponsor critical dice Go ahead and enter exclamation critical in the Twitch chat to enter into the first giveaway of the night. Uh, we'll call a winner after the break. Stick around until after the break as well to enter exclamation critical to enter into the second critical dice giveaway. That'll be called at the end of the stream. Uh, please note, our giveaways are for US and Canada only, excluding Quebec because of giveaway laws. Help support the channel by clicking the link below for 20% off all non-subscription items. Sweet. Wonderful. That's what you got. Also, uh, uh, check out our friends over at Nine Realms Gaming, where they make all these beautiful custom handmade, beautiful trays and towers and dice vaults. And you can put your custom image on there. They also make this beautiful DM screen that Jay is sitting behind. Beautiful with his face on it. Um, so you can go purchase their items, but use our code FABLE42 to get 10% off your purchase at nine realm, nine realmsgaming.com. There's a link in the chat. Thanks so much. And awesome. uh, <clears throat> our next sponsor is the one and only Griffin Co. Um, a very special thank you to our next sponsor of the evening. Uh, everything that you see that is 3D printed on our shows is from Griffin Co. Uh, if you go over to Griffin Co., use promo code FABLED42 for a 22% off discount. Fantastic. Chris. Uh, go ahead and check out our friends over at uh, Underground Oracle. They make some amazing 5e supplement content. Um, and I am playing one of their um, subclasses, which is School of the Rover. It's a very, very fun subclass for the Wizards. Uh, go ahead and check them out. And last but not least, Stacks. Uh, hi, guys. Also, if you haven't got your fill on Fable 42, be sure to stop by tomorrow for the next exciting episode of Fate of Ukador. That will be at 6 p.m. Pacific. And also come by this Monday for another episode of Legends of Shalgal, which is also at 6 p.m. Pacific. But we have a lot of shows for all of you. So just stick around. We're here. Just hang out. <laughs> Sweet. And I guess it's back to me. Uh, luck and inspo for Patreon and Twitch subscribers is live right now. If you are a subscriber or you choose to subscribe right now, um, you can gift luck, uh, a luck point and an inspiration die, a D6 inspiration to any of the players or the DM. 
um, by adding Fabled42 in the chat and then just let Fabled42 know who gets what. And is there anything else? I forget. I feel like it's been years since <laughs> last Long week. <laughs> it's, it's been um, literally week, a week. Next week, oh. the shows are dark for some of them. So yes, there will which... be no legends. There will be no realms. But we're doing other stuff. Yes, we will be yes. present, just Pre not for the regular show stuff. We will do something or other. Yeah. We'll be here, though, right, on Friday? Galia, Galia yeah. goes on. Yeah. Galia remains. So we will be back here on Friday. Um Maybe I'll do something special for Black Friday. Who knows? Uh, I guess it depends if you get through the sewer or not. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, was there anything else? Are we all done? I think so. Well, I guess then. Yes. Let's get ready for episode two of the Fables <gasps> of Galia. Woo! <laughs> Welcome back. So before we jump straight in, I'm going to reel off some luck and inspo. So we got luck to Rhapsody and inspo to Kaya. Luck to Losteroth, inspo to Rhapsody. Luck to Kaya. And Jay, you can have the inspo. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Write that one down. <laughs> uh luck and inspo to all players except fizzlewick <laughs> does that include me no okay no. luck to rose and inspo to rhapsody thank you so last time i guess the first time last time we opened up to uh, the Wheezing Pipes in, where Lost and Rose and Lily were staying, uh, closely followed by some new attendees uh, in the form of Fizzlewick, Kaya, and Rhapsody. The two kind of groups faced off uh, in, a, in a friendly, half-friendly kind of way, sizing each other up. Uh, when Jarek Darcy, very handsome and very uh, dramatic half-orc came in and uh, complained about a, oh, an overturned cart of his with uh, magical items and uh, potions. Uh, you guys eventually <laughs> agreed to help the, uh, the troubled half-orc, and so... Um, 
after seeing the shade run um, go into shade time uh, with the closing of the day globe, uh, you ventured out to investigate the cart. Um, some very quick thinking from a couple of players ended up in finding some tracks in some of the elixirs that fell. Um, Pizzlewick was able to track them using his detect magic towards a sewer where Lost tried to pull off the grate and in doing so kind of triggered some uh, giant rats to rush through bursting the grate off of the uh, pipe where combat ensued. Uh, there was some there were some whiffs and there were some good hits. Uh, and there were some surprises, including a fire-breathing uh, rat, which eventually, after the combat, ended in uh, Jarek revealing that he has potions that um, trigger all of the effects that you were seeing in the rats. And so gathering yourselves together, you were preparing to enter the sewers, and that is where we pick up. So, you guys are standing outside of the sewer pipe. What would you like to do? So I guess we gotta go in there, huh? It looks like it. Is there I prefer a... sooner than later. Don't want to get too dirty. Uh, is there a place to walk on either side, or is it just sewer? So there is. It, it's a it's a circular pipe, but it's not like full of uh, liquid or anything like that. It's kind of like a, a it's it's pooled up in the center of the pipe. You could walk to the side, kind of on the uh, on the curvature of the pipe, if you wanted to to avoid getting more wet. It's not really that deep, though. I'll do that. Okay. Yeah, Lasteroth had just used his uh, second wind. Um, sort of like Bruce Lee, he's just like his knuckles crack, his neck just cracks, and he takes a deep breath. And then he just smiles and he turns back to the, the rest of them he's, and he says, the hunt is on, and he dives into the... Uh, dives into the sewer, um, through the sewer grate. All right. I assume you mean metaphorically rather than literally as it's a horizontal pipe. Yeah. Yep. Oh, just to check. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not slip and slide through there, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jarek stands at the back and says, uh, Ladies, I see that you were using quite a bit of arcane power. You some. I uh, can't help but sense that you may be drained a little. I mean, a little, yes. Well, fear not, for I have this. And he reaches into his robes and extends this... Um, metal rod with two kind of turrets at either end and he just stands there holding it proudly i i wasn't really afraid of anything what 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 is this that you have here this is a very special rod that does what well if you were to take a short rest say it could restore two two spell slots, basically. <laughs> I was trying to think of a way to work it into the game without being too obvious, but yeah. Oh. It'll restore some of your arcane powers. Oh, well, that could be very useful. Yes. Um, are you just going to let us have this for helping you? No! That's what I thought. 
But if you us? wanted to take a short rest right now, I will gladly take it back. All right. Does anyone else need a short rest? I think, I think that's just for you arcane folks, right? Um, that, that, that thing he's got? Yes. You okay. can still short rest, though. But you can still have a rest while we regain some of our magical sense. All right. Well, I mean, I'll sit down and, and rest with you, but I, I, I'm okay. I don't, I don't need to do anything while I'm resting. All right. Hey, Lost. A oh, Lost is in the pipe already. Yeah, I'm yelling down the pipe. <laughs> that goes down there. Lost, 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 lost. Uh, We're gonna rest for a moment. Moment, moment, moment. And then you just hear uh, some chains clinking against the the great floor. You have to guess one is yes or two is no. I have no clue. I'm just pink. All right. Well, don't but get Lass, Lass will stay there. Lass will stay there kind of on, on, on watch just to try to hear and pick up any sounds or see what else. Okay. Yeah, he lost, you know, she was saying we're gonna we're gonna pause for a second. So if you want to just guard the the sewer entrance, you know, keeping things from coming out, or or maybe letting us know if something's coming out, that that'd be great. Oh, they'll have to guard the sewer entrance from me. All right. Hey Rose, is, is he always like that? Like what? Well, intense. Yeah. Yeah, that might be a good word for it. I really don't have a whole lot of experience with interaction um, with a lot of people. But if I had to gauge off of the rest of you, I would say he is much more intense than everyone else. Right, Lily? Yes, I would agree. Do you need to rest as well, Fizzlewick? I mean, I, I guess I could. All right. Is it... Um, DM, is it two spell slots per person? Is it two spell slots divvied out? Per person. Right, right on. <laughs> so could I get per, that? Could I get that too? Person, yes. Per person that chooses to rest, uh, making contact with the rod. I will. Do so. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Awkward rod holding. <laughs> This is awesome. <laughs> I was avoiding. I tried to as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is okay. <laughs> yes, so I will regain my spell slot. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay, so you guys rest up. And Jarek just says, well, I will guard outside of here just to make sure that nothing comes in. You, you could Logic. also, if something gets biased, you could you could make sure that it doesn't get away. I could. Are there Learn. any magical items that you have that you would let us take with us that maybe would aid us in this? I mean, it seems like you have a plethora of awesome magical items. Quite the collection. Well, yes, but... None that I'm just going to let you go with. Do you not think that we'll make it back? I don't worry that you won't complete it. I worry about getting my things back. But aren't we, in theory, getting your things back currently? It, that's the whole Yes, point. but not magical items. Oh, I thought that there was a lot of magical stuff that was stolen. That's what you told us, right? Potions. Potions. Oh, potions. Are any of those healing potions? Maybe we might need them after we get done with whatever. There's probably. There was quite a few. They left some, but took many more. All right. I'm ready to go. How about you guys? Yep. Let's go get, sure. get going. Are you sure there's nothing you want to lend us as we go? 
Bye bye now. Good luck. Ta ta, bye. darling. We'll be back. Bye bye. Hey, you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna get in the middle of the group, and not because I'm scared, but I can help protect those in front and behind me that way. Sounds good to me. All right. I'll stay in the back. I can rush up to the front if need be, but. Okay, so you're heading into the pipe. Please give me a marching order. Lost her. <laughs> yep, by default. <laughs> yeah, lot, lots, when you when you get up to the get into the grate, he's actually pretty far in. He's sitting um, with his elbows on his knees. He just looks bored as hell. And when you guys come up, he just leans over and he's like, it took you long enough. I mean, I potentially just regained the power to heal you if you go down. So this was probably a smart choice. So um, I will go right behind Lost. Well, maybe not like right behind, but like a little bit behind Lost. There's lost, and then there's 20 feet, and there's everyone else. Correct. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll be right behind Rose. You know, I'll be right behind Lily. Mm -hmm. I'll probably be up there with lost in case we need to need a scout. Okay. So you're going to go side by side with lost? Yep. The little one is safe. My and five feet high. all the way in the back well behind lily and rose in the caboose got it sweet okay so you guys start to head into the pipe and light starts to very quickly dim um as you look back and you see just this bright well, it seems bright from inside the pipe, knowing that it's still just the artificial twilight from uh, the day globe with the shade over it. Um, but it seems bright. Looking forward, you see a long pipe that kind of just drops off at the end. Um, the, the, the waters in the center uh, trail off and then drip down uh, of the drop off. Um, like I said, it's only it's only like a very shallow puddle in the middle, but everything feels moist in there. There's this damp smell in the air. Um, as you get further into the pipe, the smell gets worse and worse as you assume that you're getting closer to the actual sewerways. Um, you hear just occasional drips from different <coughs> areas just around you. Um, and if you look up, you see that the, the ceiling is, is, is very moist as well. Uh, where it's actually causing drips to drip down into the puddles. So, uh, are you guys staying away from the liquid in the center, or are you just trundling through it? I'm staying on the side. Yeah, okay. I, I wouldn't walk through it. I wouldn't purposely walk through the water, either. I prefer to stay clean if I can, so I'll be on the sides. But I'll pull up my bandana. Kaya, you're muted. I'm walking uh, kind of abreast with Rose, um, maybe kind of, but on the opposite side of the center stream. Okay. So you're going up front now? Yeah, I mean, I, when Fizzlewick went up front, I felt like I needed to be kind of, kind of okay. side by side there. That's fine. All right. Is it really dark? Yes. Yeah, I can't see very well. I don't know about you. I'm going to cast light on the shield. So Ooh. as I hold my shield up, I'm lighting the area. Oh, thank you so much. I couldn't see very well. Yeah. Okay. 
Are you guys doing anything? Just walking towards the drop off? Um, are there any, like, do we see any, like, signs of, I don't know. I mean, can you see footprints? Can you see tracks? Are there any, is there any signs of like broken potion bottles? Are we going in the right direction? Um, you can make a perception check. Do we see footprints in the shit? It's an eight. Eight? Well, I rolled a natural one. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's pretty dark. There's a lot of moisture around the pipe. So, footprints they may have been there at some point but with the dripping coming from the ceiling maybe they're just covered up you, you don't notice anything i'll have my spike chain ready in case of more rats <laughs> anyone else just walking mm-hmm. okay Definitely so, keeping myself and my shield in front of Lily the whole time. Got it. So you guys, um, well, Lost and Fizzlewick first come to the edge of the drop-off. And so as you look down, there's about a 10-foot drop um, where water is just kind of dripping down uh, from the pipeway. Um, as you turn back, you'll notice that it is slightly, um, it has a slight gradient to it. And so it's draining water away um, into this sewerway. Um, so as you look down, you guys see a lot of water below you. It looks a lot deeper. It's cloudy. But that's what you see. And there are no landings at all? It's just straight diving to a pool? Um, you can you can make a perception check if you want. Aha, mm-hmm. uh-huh. first crit. I wish that was another attack, though. So that's a... Uh, For a total of... Total of 20... Where's my skill? Oh, here we go. 24. 24, okay. Um, Yeah, so Lost, as you're kind of checking it out and trying to see around uh, the bottom of the drop-off pipe that goes down, you kind of just catch a glimpse of a walkway on either side of the, uh, the water below you, although there doesn't look like any direct path to actually get onto it from the pipe. How from far? this from this vantage point. Got it. So it's it's way off to the side. Yeah. You kind of scoot your vision around and you just catch it. Got it. How far? Uh, it's 10 feet down. 10 feet down and then the the little walkway is how far off to the side? If I was peeking around the side? Mm, maybe another 10 feet. But it's it's below the edge of the pipe. So you wouldn't be able to like jump to it. You'd hit the edge, of the the wall of the downward pipe. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Well, um, there is a landing, but it's about 10, 10 feet on opposite sides of the pipe. Well, adjacent to the pipe, so we can't reach it. We, if we want to get there, we're going to have to jump into the muck. Well, how far down is the muck? I. Ha- I just I just walked up here. I haven't seen it yet. What, how far down is it? It's about ten feet. No, to the, like the the pool down there. I can't see it very well. It is about ten feet down. Oh, okay. And and the and there's a lip down there we can land on. No, we'd have to swim about ten feet to either side to get to the lip. Well, my my whip is ten feet long. Maybe I could swing over to it. I'll take a peek. Are there any like uh, any outcroppings or anything that he can Indiana Jones it over there? Um, keeping your perception check. Yeah. 
or or if the the walls you know right right outside of the the pipe are they are there any handholds and footholds that you can climb across uh you can't actually see the walls below okay. the pipe you just right. made out the walkway uh -huh. the wall the wall would be further in so god 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 you can't see the walls down there i mean looking at it it doesn't really look like there's any like nicely placed prince of persia hooks or anything like that yeah uh, how strong are you um lost are you pretty strong and, and uh lost lost is kind of like a a sinewy lanky strong he's uh he doesn't look like it but he's actually really strong it's a lot of crossfit i wonder if you held on to the end of my my whip and then I kind of swung down, I'm pretty heavy though. I'm I'm pretty tall and big. I mean, you can tell. But if maybe you if you were able to hold on to it and I swung and then you let go when I reached it, does it look like there's anything in the pipe to secure a rope to? Uh no, it's a pipe. Maybe, or maybe just if a, you know what, I could just run and take a jump. I was gonna run and take a jump too. If you want to go first. Yeah, I'll, I'll go first. Um, I just, uh, I make my way, give myself about, you know, a 15 foot running start. And then I will launch myself. And you, you hear Lost launch himself with uh, with kind of a, 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 a giggle of glee. He's actually, it's actually pretty fun for him. Okay. So you back up. A you know what? Ways. Actually, no, no. He's actually going to run, kind of a, at a diagonal, because he wants to make it to the left bank. He's going to run a, as a diagonal, and then he wants to jump towards the side of the pipe and then launch himself diagonally to the left. Is that possible? Kind of like bouncing off the wall. We to... can try. Like so, <laughs> as you take off towards the edge of the pipe, so you're gonna. The, the pipe, it, it, you're going to dive down at a diagonal to try and bounce off the the bottom the, of the pipe and go so the, the pipe, opposite direction. The pipe's going like this, right? Down like this? It's going straight. The pipe's going, the main pipe uh -huh. has a uh, a gradient going down, uh -huh. and then there's a drop-off pipe that's vertical. Oh, it's a drop-off pipe. That's why you couldn't see the walkway. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, drop-off pipe. Yeah, I can't, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm actually just dropping straight down. Yeah, I thought I was gonna ninja gate and uh, like oh, okay, no, uh, no problem. Yeah, no, I uh, I still make the run, but I cannonball down into the uh, down into the uh, the depths. Okay. So yeah, so you guys see uh, lost, take a run, give a little giggle. Oh, you know, you know what? <laughs> I forgot one last thing. Can I misty step before I hit the water if I can see to the left? Because I, I have a racial ability that allows me to misty step once a day. Um, yeah, we'll see if that works. <laughs> so you go, you run, you hear a little giggle as he takes off into the air, tucks his knees into his arms and just drops. And that's the last you see of him. Lost. <laughs> as you're falling, I need you to make, make a... Uh, what would this be, man? I guess I guess just a perception check to kind of check like distance and things. This is as you're falling and you're just seeing it. You got to judge distance and yeah. angle. So make a perception check. Uh, thirteen plus seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you just managed to poof, and then poof, reappear with your tiptoes on the edge of the walkway and your arms start swinging backwards to counterbalance as you uh, uh, like swim yourself through the air forwards and manage to walk onto the walkway. Okay, I yell back, graceful landing. I'm on the other side. Now, what do I see down here? Um, you see a another well it this is this is an actual sewerway now so there are uh pathways on either side with the cloudy water there are um torches lit every maybe 
20, 20 or so feet on the walls. Um, and there is a little ways down, maybe 20 feet past one of the, um, one of the torches on the wall. Uh, you can see an opening into a room on the opposite side. Got it. Now the sconces are holding the torches. Do they look pretty secure into the wall? Um, I'm gonna tug on it and like see how how strong it is. I mean, it's it's just a the thing that holds. Well, you you want to pull the torch out? No, I want to tie rope to it just so that I can uh, fling the rope right over there underneath the um, the tunnel opening. So in case any of them can't swim, they can grab onto the rope if they land in the water. Okay, I see what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to pull the torch out, there would then be a uh, a hook that holds it at an angle, at a 45 degree angle. So there'd then be something that's bolted into the wall. Awesome, awesome. I'll do that, I'll do that. I'll yell up that, uh, when you jump into the water, look for the rope and I'll pull you, I'll pull you in. And I fling the uh, the, the 50 foot rope over to uh, right under the, the, um, the pipe. It floats. Kaya, you see like a tail end of a rope just kind of drifting into view. And Fizzlewick, if you're still looking. Uh, I am. Um, now, <coughs> can I see where he landed um, from where I'm standing? Um, you could make a perception check as well. This would be a pretty high DC to see where he missed his step to. That's a 19 plus 3. For a total of... 19 plus 3. 22. 22. Yep. <clears throat> um, I will... Okay, with, with 22, I won't say that you see where he is, but... I just want to... I want to miss his stuff to where he landed without you watched. Jumping. You watched his, like, him disappear, that, like, puff disappear. Yeah. And... You kind of saw the, um, cause like Misty Step with me, I always think of it like, um, like Nightcrawler, you know, mm -hmm. that slight cloud that appears around him. I'd say you just about catch the edge of the cloud. Okay. There's a wig here. Hold on to the end of my whip. I'll let you hang down and then you can Misty Step from there over to the ledge. You could probably see him if you're hanging down. All right. Here you go. And I'm going to. And brace myself and start letting him hang down. Okay, so you're gonna back up a little bit so that it doesn't like right hit the water. All right, cool. Uh, and then um, I, I wanted to yeah. ask a question. Um, Go. A tensor's floating disc. Okay. If I create it, it's about twenty feet away from me. Is up there where they are, right? So then. It only moves when I move, right? Is that the understanding of the of the disc? Yep. Yeah. So, so I would walk 20 feet in, bring a friend down. I'd walk back out, and it would go back up. Uh, Tensa's floating disc, I believe, stays three feet above the ground. Three feet yeah. above the uh, above the I ground. Think it doesn't fly back up. Yeah. So you could float down, mm. but you wouldn't get it back up. Got it. All right. Never mind. Pretty cool though. Love tensors. Little elevator. Yeah. <laughs> cool idea. Hey, um, is that water pretty nasty or whatever it is? That liquid is it pretty bad? I look. I look at the water. Um. I mean, you're a pretty intelligent, uh, despite appearances. Uh. You, you could probably surmise that it is, it's sewage. It's sewer water. It's poopy so it's, water? Yeah. I mean, it's it's like a, it's like a greeny kind of color. I mean, it's, it's, not, like, it's not like straight brown. Like, it's yeah. not like sludge. It's <laughs> it's water still. Do any of y'all have prestidigitation? <laughs> nope. Hmm. Maybe I won't just jump in then. You know what, Lily? If, yes. if there are creatures that regularly travel through here, I can't imagine that they just 
jump into sewage on a daily basis. And I look around to see if there's any kind of levers or like trap doors or any kind of anything that, that they would use potentially um, to like create like a step or something. Okay, make a perception check. Perception or investigation, depending on what you want to do, may give you a different answer. Um, 19. For? Uh, perception. Okay. Well, let me see what I invested. No, we're definitely going with perception. <laughs> okay. Because I'm uh, wise, not intelligent. With, with, with a 19, um, even in the dark, you're able to just I have light. Even in the dark, you're, you're just able to um, make out just, just this very small door. It's about two feet tall. Um, it is wooden, like vertical slats, um, kind of hastily put together. Um, as you get closer to kind of look at it a little bit closer and shine your shield towards it, you can see that it is kind of cobbled together with bent nails. And uh, it looks like, it doesn't look like the same piece of wood was used to make this. This is found wood. Lily, look, I think I found a door. I'm going to open the door. Okay. So you go to open the door and it doesn't open like a regular door. You actually push it and it acts like a flap. So it opens upwards. I think I found a slide. Yeah. What? Um, as well, make, are you using your shield to still illuminate yeah. it? Okay. Cool. So yeah, with with your passive, you you see that there is uh, not a slide. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bummer. But there is a little rope ladder that is made of very rotten rope, okay. and it looks like branches or bits of tree that are tied in as it goes down for each rung. Well, I think I found how these little creatures were getting through. Um, I am going to step on the first branch. I'm not very big, so hopefully it holds. A two foot, a two foot door I should be able to fit through. Like. Uh, uh, <laughs> mm. How tall are you again? I'm only like five foot four. I can't remember exactly what I, I'm not very tall. It is a squeeze. How are you getting down to the ladder? Are you going face first? No, I was gonna go foot first. Okay. All right, so you're <laughs> trying to back up into the hole. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll allow it for the sake of time. It takes you a minute to kind of get the right jimmying of yourself uh, to go backwards, but you're able to get in um, and you plant your foot on uh, on the ladder. You're going to try and use the ladder. Is that what the, yes, the idea that's is? the plan. Okay. So as you put your first foot on, it, like you test it a little bit, and it seems to hold the the rope starts to like creak as your weight gets put onto it, but it seems to be holding for now. I am going to swiftly but gingerly continue down the ladder. Yes, aggressively but carefully. Got it. Um, as you go to uh, put your foot down onto the next <coughs> one, you can't see, but it's a lot thinner of a twig, and it <coughs> snaps and gives way. I hold onto the rope with my hands. Okay. I need you to make a strength saving throw 
as you are sliding down the ropes in order to grip hard enough to stop yourself from falling. From underneath, Lost Roth is getting kind of impatient. He yells up, he's like, it's just shit. Unfortunately, not, not the elven kind, but the human kind, but it can't be too bad. I got a 10. A 10? Uh-huh. Okay, so you'll take half damage, I'll <laughs> say, as you slow yourself down, um, but you're unable to stop yourself from going down. Um, so we'll say there's... Okay, so you take you take one, one point of bludgeoning damage as your legs kind of give way and you sit down on the floor. Boof! It's a little rickety, Lily. You're smaller than me, though. You might be able to just climb the rope down. What? How is the... Um, how is the rope ladder, like, attached at the top? Um, it's like... Like iron pegs? Almost like tent pegs, but like they're, they're slightly bigger. Um, like, would I be able to like wrap? Almost like a, a small rope. railroad pin in either side like, of the so rope I could like tie hand. my rope to that and like rappel down. You could certainly try. <laughs> it is a it is a small gap. You are a small person, but it is a small gap to, uh, made for very small creatures. I mean, would it be better if I, like, just, like, like, <laughs> hands on each side? Oh, I didn't think about that. Like, you walk myself? Yeah. I'm not a strong I mean, person. Both, both, I can a zero look, strong. Look, both, both ideas are valid. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll try it without a rope. Just if okay. it's a small enough tunnel that I can like try and hold myself and um yeah you're probably gonna go like forearms out right but if there's enough room to push yeah yeah, yeah. but that to, like, you know that that squeeze, idea that i'm just like, like squeeze yeah. yourself out into the hole and okay, then like we, shimmy we down can try that um i will say before we go luck and inspo to lost uh luck and inspiration to rose those are perma points thank Ooh, you thank so you much very much and uh, one luck to Rose and one inspo to Kaya. Thank you. So. Should have reloaded at least. And Kaya just says, "This is this is way too much," and he just jumps in. Okay. It's All right. So as you jump ah! in, I run in. I run inside the room. <laughs> He's gonna splash. So Kaya. <laughs> yep. And you come up for air, it reeks, reeks. It's horrible. Yeah, uh, y'all. This is about you know. It's kind of like back on the farm. I used to shovel shit all the time. This, so, I, don't, I didn't ever jump into liquid gooey kind, but you know, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And I just kind of climb out. And yep, you're able to just climb out and <laughs> yep, shake yourself and lost. You get sprayed with some of the uh, <laughs> uh lily make make a an athletics or acrobatics i'll allow acrobatics even though it's not particularly acrobatic i mean it doesn't matter either one's the same so <laughs> oh, okay then make it athletics <laughs> uh 17 17 okay uh yeah you're able to like very very slowly just push your forearms <laughs> out and uh hook your feet in and as you walk yourself down you're able to just let go with your your upper body and like move down a little bit at a time it takes a few minutes but you you make your way down there yep you did oh. so much better than me good job I should have let you go first. This seemed like more of your kind of puzzle than mine. I, I think I would have done the same that you did if I went first. Oh, okay. Behind you guys, uh, with your passives, like just like looking around <laughs> on the floor, 
Um, you see another one of those doors that are cobbled together that leads in the direction that Lost went. You will, but I will definitely shimmy through there. <laughs> okay. Backwards or forwards this time? Is it another ladder? No. It's just out to the other part? If but you, Do you open it? Yes, I will look out. Yep. So you open it and you see Kaya's feet oh. and Lost. Just and you're over here lost complaining about getting wet. Put your butt to them first. Yeah, I'm going to shimmy my butt out first. <laughs> okay, well, your ankles will come out first because you got to lie down to get through yeah, there. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you're able to back your way out onto the walkway. And Lily, you can do the same. And I will. <laughs> Where's Rhapsody? Where is Rhapsody? Um, <laughs> so... It's 10 down and then 10 across to get to the ledge, essentially. Yeah, yeah. OK. Uh, can I spend a key point to do Step of the Wind and then cool. double my jumping distance? How are you going to double your jumping distance? It's just the extra feature of Step of the Wind. It doubles I know Step of the distance. Wind. How are you going to double your oh, jumping distance I'm going in to order to reach? go back and then run and jump across. So there's a downward pipe. Okay, so it's that like, goes down, oh. and then at the edge, the walkway is like here, water, and then walkway is to the side. It's like Super Mario Bros. Um, I could, I could yes. see the edge yeah. when I jumped, Roz. I couldn't see the edge when I jumped, so I just jumped in. Okay, you're better. Maybe you, maybe you're a little bit more agile than I am. I don't know. Um. In that case, I will attempt to, I don't know if there's enough room to, I'll just go down and if I can jump off of the wall and like kick myself across, I'll try that. Um, and if not, I'll probably be very pissed with soiled silks, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try and go go down the pipe and then bounce off the bottom end to get to the walkway. Yes. Okay, we can try that. Um, how are you getting down there? Are you just kind of... Okay, so you'll have to jump from the side to get towards the diagonal to then go in the opposite direction, right? Yes. So are you going to try? Okay, sweet. All right, make, uh, make an acrobatics check. Okay. Ooh. Uh, 21. Okay, yeah. And uh, what's your jumping distance? Um, how do I figure that one out? Um, is it like 10 uh, feet? It's like two times your strength. I mean, yeah, I, two times strength. If you have a running start. Two times strength. Long jump. Yeah. Long jump. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's like 12 feet? My strength okay. is six. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, yeah, hmm. okay. Well, it's two times your strength modifier. We'll yeah, do dex modifier. for you. Oh, because my modifier? That's, we'll, do, uh, we'll, do, we'll use dex for you because it's um, the way you're doing it. Okay. Um, eight. Eight feet, then. Eight well, feet. Yeah. So eight feet's like normal jump distance. If I use my step at a wind, it'll make it 16. Okay. You got it. All right. Lost is getting ready to take notes on the colorful expletives that are going to be escaping from Rat <laughs> Roz's right. mouth when he hits the water. So I'm that not can give those to it, Lily. I, so, it's a little dirty. I'm going to be holding my hand out when he jumps my way. I'm going to try to grab his arm and pull him in. So Rhapsody, you take a running jump and upwards just to get the arc uh, so that you hit the edge of the pipe right at the bottom and with that you flick your legs upwards and turn almost like you're turning direction in a swimming pool and then jettison yourself off of the uh the pipe you guys see him gracefully falling forwards in a very slow forward front flip and landing poof, almost completely silently next to you guys Ooh. That was beautiful, brother. I, I'm really impressed. I like that a lot. 
<laughs> These are very delicate silks. I have to take care of them. I, I know. Lots About ten seconds later, the silks fall. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I need to learn how to do that. It's not fun smelling like poop. <laughs> okay. So you guys are down there? Yeah. Um, you see the long extension of the sewerway. Uh, you see the um, the torches about 20 or so feet spaced out on the walls either side. Uh, they are lit. Um, Lost, what did you do with the one that you took out? Uh, you know what? No, I need two hands. Um, I'll place it back into the sconce. Okay, so you untie the rope and yep. put it back. Okay, cool. Um, and you guys can see a little ways down on the opposite side, uh, there is uh, an opening in the wall. Is it tiny? No, no, it's not actually. It's probably about, mm, well, from this angle, you would surmise that it's somewhere between five and 10 feet wide. Oh. Okay, I will start making my way there. Okay. So you want to go in line with the opening? Yeah. yeah. This is on the other side, so, yeah, okay. Um, and I turn around. I turn around to Kaya, and I go, you, 10 feet back. They'll smell you before they hear you coming. I smell like the rest of the pipe. They won't smell me any different than <laughs> when what's going on. And then he just starts moving forward. If anything, think they'll smell the rest of us before they smell him. I, I think you, you just don't want to smell me. I think that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. You're the one who told me to jump. You should suffer with me. Good mug. I'm oh. going to give you another rose. Here, here, Kaya, maybe this will help. Oh, thank you, Rose. Um, the rest of you guys basically see Kaya holding this rose. And to the rest of you, this is definitely a Band-Aid on a broken leg. <laughs> um so lost as you get in line with mm -hmm. this opening are you being stealthy or are you just walking um i mean we have we have a big light just flashing from behind us right on the shield not yeah. really stealthy when we're just lit right? so, i mean but the 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 they okay. are lit the lit um the sewerways are lit okay okay so it's it's not adding a huge amount of light to it especially because okay. rose is further back so got it yeah, I would def definitely try stealthing. Okay, make a stealth check. And I, right. I'm right next to him too. You doing it? Yep. Go for it. Twelve on the first one. Twelve on the first one. Fourteen, so twelve. Because I have disadvantage, I got twelve plus sixteen total. Twenty-two. Sixteen. Yeah. Twenty-two. Okay. Uh, you guys feel like you're being pretty stealthy. Um, as you come across to the opening. Uh, I assume you guys are kind of peeking around, not just walking to the middle and then turning. So yeah. as you as you uh, approach that, um, guys, make a perception check. You can both roll separately, or one of you can roll with advantage. Yeah. Oh, separately or one? Either or. The, let's do with advantage. So my her. rolls disappear because my roll was a big fat yeah. <laughs> it was roll again. The, you can't see. Maybe you yeah, can't okay. see. If you're gonna if you're gonna choose to help Fizzlewick, yes, I would choose to help. You, then Fizzlewick can roll again. Got it. That's good. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. So this is an open brick room. Um, the, the bricks are more like what we would think to be house bricks. These aren't the, the large stones or anything like that, but these, these are um, covered in uh, moss and dripping off of the walls again. So you're still hearing that slight dripping and splashing sound as they hit the same pools over and over. Um, as you look in, you see smack dab in the middle a crate that is held up 
at a 45 degree angle with a small stick propping it up. And under the crate is a, what was your role? It was a- 17. 17, yeah, okay. So you see what you make out to be a small block of cheese. Well, I'm, I'm going to walk up about this time pretty quietly. Okay. What are you looking at? That's, I think that's just a mouse trap. It's, it's, we call that a deadfall trap back home. Interesting. Um, don't don't touch that cheese. Whatever you do, or you'll be trapped inside that big old box. It's just a crate. Do I see anything um, else anywhere? Are, are you kind of are you trying to look a little closer? Do you want to like try and investigate as best you can? Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right. Make uh make. Make an investigation check. DC will be higher because you're from such a distance, but... Uh, 15. 15. Okay. You just... Just able to make out that there is a little bit of string tied around the stick that leads off just behind where the opening is as you're kind of looking in at like a 45 degree angle okay. if you wanted to continue you could potentially look around the corner <clears throat> there's um look at the little a string that goes all the way over there to the other opening like someone's gonna pull it yeah i think that's what that is you're right. I wonder if somebody can get over there and see who's pulling that string or holding on to the other end of it without getting seen. I mean, I'm, I can try. Is there is there light in this chamber? In that one, yeah, yeah, there's 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 still uh, torches and things. You're you're able to see it, okay. <clears throat> Andy, oh, can okay. I assume that with my passive, I can hear the conversation that they're having? Oh yeah. Okay. Lily, it seems like there might be somebody up here trying to trap mice or rats. Rats would make sense. How big is the crate? Could it fit a human a human sized person or? Oh no, no. Oh, it's a tiny crate. It's a little crate, yeah. That's strange. No. It's not like it's not like tiny, like like um, like it could only fit like a rat in it. Yeah, it could probably fit like a small humanoid in it. Okay. Like a like very a small movie. humanoid. Yeah. Like a gnome. You may surmise that. The answer is no. I'm gonna I'm gonna be r ridiculous and just kind of push past them and be like, "Hello, my. Hello, we mean you no harm. Hello. I'm gonna ready an attack action if okay. something comes out and attacks. Um. Lost just looks back and he says. Whatever it is, it's a creature that catches food with a crate and a string. Right, so they're not very energy. intelligent. Hello? Are there any, like, pebbles or anything on the ground I could pick up? Yeah, yeah, I would say that um, uh, just kind of debris and things, you'd, you'd be able to find something, kind of a, a throwable like a little size. Rock. Yeah. I want to throw the rock at the box okay knock it down 
make make just a a general dexterity check. Or make an attack roll with your dexterity modifier. So 13. 13? Okay. So you're able to hit it. So you... And it... And the crate just... And after that, you hear... Was that in Draconic? Um, it was in, uh, not not that you could tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was just a. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just a general. I'm gonna holler out in draconic. I'm gonna say, "Hey, you over there holding the end of that string? Why don't you come on out? If you can talk." Southern country and draconic. <laughs> uh, you hear no response. Okay. Well, I'm going to walk on over there then. Ready. Go to the other side. I'm, yeah, I'm going to walk around the edge of the, the the perimeter of the room so that I can get around and see where that string goes. Okay. So you're going to go over the water or you're just going to go through, just swim through? Yeah, whatever it takes. Okay. Um... So you swim through, fine. You pull yourself up on the other side. This is not stealthy at all because mm -hmm. you are soaking wet. So you pull yourself up and you walk into the room. Where where are you looking? Towards where the string goes? Yeah. And, okay. and I'm, I'm making sure that, you know, nobody can jump me. I'm not going to just like walk in and say, hey, okay. uh, I'm going to so, make sure you can jump me from the side when I... Right, so make a careful perception check as you <laughs> as you edge into the room. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would be a big old eight. Eight. I rolled, I rolled a two. Uh, okay. So you look and you can follow the string, and it seems to go into a hole in the wall. Hmm. I'm going to reach down and pull the string. Okay, so you walk up. Where are you walking to? So the string well, the string's probably about 10 foot long to the wall from the crate. Like, where are you? I'm, di I'm just going to stand, like, between the crate and the wall, and I'm going to reach down and just pull on it. Okay. I'm going to kind of jerk on it, so maybe it'll slip out of his hand. Oh, so you're going to pull it away from the wall. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, make a, make a strength check. Yeah, that. I'm going to... I'm going to inspo that. So let's... Oh, nine plus one. Ten. <laughs> ten? Okay, so <laughs> you so you yank on this string and you hear a wham as these two little red draconic hands have pulled through the uh, the gap in the wall, still holding on. So you guys are in a tug of war <laughs> through the wall with this string. Hey there, little fella. I mean, I'm going to do all this in draconic. Hey there, little fella. Why don't you come on out? We know you're in there. Uh, you hear in like a broken draconic? Like, uh, me and no one here. And they let go of the string and. T -t 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 -t. Well, hey, 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 guys, I think I scared him off. I heard him running away. I, th I think it's safe for y'all to come across now. Do you have to swim? Are there any walkways to get across? Nope. No. How deep is the water? You don't know. Yes, I do because he's been in it. I I didn't I didn't he touch swam. the bottom. He didn't touch the bottom. He swam. Oh, okay. 
It's only 10 I, feet. It's only I'm close. six foot four, and I didn't try to touch the bottom. That's probably a good idea. All right. I mean... I'm going to put my cat up on the top of my head. If you toss him over, I'll catch him. Or her. I'm sorry. I know it's a her. <laughs> I'm, I really appreciate that but I don't think Poppy would really enjoy it and she doesn't weigh much so I'll just stick her she's real tiny I'll just stick her up on top of my head and I'll swim over all right okay well I'm waiting I'm gonna I, I forgot I put my rose up in my band on my hat so it didn't get wet when I swam across <clears throat> noted <laughs> what are the rest of you guys doing are you staying over on the other side Swimming. So I'm going to reach in and pull Rose out when she gets across. Thank you. Lost. Yeah. Can I get into the uh, into the room with the brick? I'm right by that room. I'm about to swim across. Uh, you'd have to swim across or jump 15 feet. I'll make the jump. Okay. Uh, make uh, an athletics. Yeah, it'd probably be athletics for you. With it's 15 feet jumpers. What is it? It's like, it's like a 15, like between 10 and 15 foot to the I other forgot, side. I forgot the rules for a jump. Is it like... Uh, eh, you jump? Uh, just just roll. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 13 plus... 18. Okay. Yeah. So you're able to just get a couple of steps off before planting your feet and double foot jumping across to the other side. Again, kind of planting and whoa, little wobble on the end but you're able to kind of weight yourself over with your chains wrapped around your arms and you walk across okay. you guys as you're swimming across see lost just kind of whoosh, overhead rhapsody are you staying there i'm going to attempt to jump as well <laughs> okay um acrobatics for you okay Okay, that's a re-roll, because that's a nat one. <laughs> uh, 17. Yeah, okay. So yeah, you're able to like elegantly, uh, seemingly float across to the other side as your silks kind of billow out as you land and they whoosh, either side. <laughs> yeah, so you guys are across. Some wet, some not. So the crate is in front of you. Why would they have a device like this down in the sewers? Maybe this is the only way they can eat. Do you think it's for eating, though? Well, I think they use those potions. They catch them and they make them bigger. Well, that's true. But they've only just gotten the potions. Maybe they don't know what they're doing. I mean, they're using food to catch food, so. I mean, th well, this is a, um, it's kind of trap. It, it's not meant, it's meant to catch them alive. So I, I think that Fizzlewick might have a point. They're mm -hmm. probably catching them. And then we know they fed those earlier ones potions to make them really hard to hit or. Well, we don't know that they fed <coughs> them. The rats could have easily gotten into potions. By That's accident. true too. That's true too. Or maybe <laughs> they're using the rats to protect something else down here. Is there a way to carry on through here? Is there like a path out? I mean, I know the one was in the wall. The same was there a that the the creature went through? Right. Was there a door where that where I believe might have been a cobalt? Was is there a door there? Um, no, you don't see a door on that side, at least. If you want to make a perception check to see if there's anything else, you I can. Do. Okay. I'm going to Oh, that's much uh, better. Roz will go over and, like, pick up that piece of cheese and, like, store it with him in case he has to use it as a diversion later. <laughs> <laughs> 
23 okay. perception. 30, 20 on mine. Okay. So you don't see any, uh, you see that kind of the looky hole that um, the one uh, Dragonoid had um, on that side. Um, and as you guys kind of scan around, you do see another very small door on the other side. Kind of exactly opposite where the looky hole is. Like a small door that not everyone's going to fit through? Uh, not everyone can fit, no. <clears throat> now, as you see, um, Rhapsody reach down for the cheese. You two, with your perception checks, notice the string starts to get taut again. I'm going to reach down and grab it again. <laughs> okay. And as so, soon as I feel a tug, I'm going to jerk back because I know he's going to be gripping it when I do that. Okay, may I would say make yeah. Let's have a roll off. Let's do uh, dexterity checks to see who can do this faster. Okay, straight dex, straight dex. Uh, yeah, yeah. Twenty-two. Yep, that does it. I got an eleven, so. Yeah, you're able to pull it and yank it, and again, the whack, as you assume that's his face that hits the wall, and the uh, the string comes out. And you hear just a, ah, as it skitters away again. Come on back, little feller. We ain't gonna hurt you. Is the hole in the wall big enough for him to come through, or no? Uh, the wall that he was at is just like, a little okay, sort so of... Okay, so he couldn't come out that way. He can, like, look, and then his arms were through. I want to look through the little door. On the other side? Yeah. Okay. So you go and push it open, you look down there, and there is, um, a, like, a warren of tunnels. Okay. Well, if we go through this door over here, not all of us are going to fit, but there's a ton of different tunnel ways well i definitely won't fit i can stay here but i don't think you should run off by yourself we may have to retreat to the main tunnel way that we came down to see if there's another way to get through what are the rest of you guys doing well all of this Water has to go somewhere, doesn't it? Maybe the girls in Fizzle can go through the door and we can swim and see if it reconnects. Well, if there's a peephole, how thick is this wall? Um, yeah, maybe 18 inches. What's it made out of? Brick. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, if you look closer, you can see there's just a couple of bricks taken out of the wall to yeah. make the, the hole. Well, whatever we decide to do, let's do it quickly before it notifies any of its other kin. From the looks of it, they don't seem wise enough to do that, but I would hasten us being down here. I don't think we should split up. Probably not a good idea. Because from my knowledge, I believe, these are kind of like pack creatures. There's usually a lot of them. I think we'd be smarter to stay in a pack ourselves. Um... But they aren't smart. No, they aren't. How would they know if um, if we hide or something and they just come back? We make it seem like there's a creature in the box. How would they come get it? They would have to come out, right? That's really smart. 
And he'll like place the cheese back down. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick the rope back through the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, through, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, kind of push it through. Um, and then I imagine if we just stay out of the line of sight from that like peak hole, he won't be able to see if we're like at the sides of it, right? Or they won't. Yeah. So I, if you want to do that, you could kind of go back around the the first opening that you would have reached that wall. You could kind of go behind that and kind of see around the corner at the crate still. Okay. If you wanted to do that. And um, Roz will like. Uh, take one of his darts at the ready to like try and hit that stick to make it fall off whenever we're in our positions. Bizzlewit could get inside the box and shake it around, act like he's home. <laughs> I can create an illusion of a sound inside the box. Okay. Ooh, like a mouse sound. Sure. Okay. So plan is hide, create an illusionary sound, and then see what happens. Yep. Yeah, after Roz makes the box go down. Oh, okay. Okay, so you're going to hit it with the dot and let the trap fall, and mm -hmm. then... Um... And then cast minor illusion for like a mouse squeaking or something so you're trying to hit the stick in order to activate the trap yeah to make it seem like something make it made it gave way okay um make an intelligence check for me okay we're gonna re-roll that are you smarter than a cobalt oh no <clears throat> uh, oh no <clears throat> It's not a huge DC, guys. Just okay. <laughs> That's a seven. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, because kobolds. So you you kind of surmise that the idea is uh, for movement to be inside the crate, and then it is manually triggered. If you wanted to wait for the kobold to come back, if not, you could just manually trigger it yourself by hitting the twig. Oh. I want to kneel down in front of Fizzlewick and be like, you know, you can say no, but you're kind of small and I think you'd fit in the box. Do you mind being the bait? Sure. We, we don't need bait, right? Well, if it's manually triggered, like Roz said, then we might need someone to be looking at the cheese in the box. Okay. Or we could also just hit the... You know what? I can just stand over here on the side and we all hide and I can just use my whip, reach out there and, and pop it and it'll knock that stick right out. Okay. Does it work? It's <laughs> magical cheese. I, we're, we're making this really too too Magic. much too complicated. It doesn't need to be this complicated. What's the plan, guys? You're gonna hide, and how are you gonna trigger what? I'm gonna start walking towards the crate and the cheese. Okay. That's the best bet. It's okay. magical cheese. Just go for it. <clears throat> Whoa, cheese! I'm sure it's sanitary. Selling it. Okay. So you're kind of hamming it up. Yeah. Ham and cheese. Okay. So <laughs> you're like, oh, look, cheese. Walk up to it. Uh, like look around a little bit. You can see that the the string is it's not completely slack anymore. Um, you reach under the crate. Yeah, I I put myself into position to get created. Okay. So as you reach under the crate, the rope suddenly goes taut and the twig pulls out and the crate drops 
onto you? Do you allow yourself to, do you stay there to get trapped? Sure. Trapped, it's great. So it drops and you hear a rumble above you and that's where we're gonna take a break. God. Well, we didn't check the ceiling. <laughs> Exclamation point critical in the chat. Um, and to enter into the uh, the giveaway, we'll be back in 10-ish minutes and draw that first winner. So stay tuned for Are You Smarter Than a Kobold? <laughs> no.
Welcome back for part two of episode two of the Fables of Galia here on Fable 42. All of the twos <coughs> today. Hey. NK Rock 4. Nkrock 4. Nkrock 4. You win. You win. You won the uh, the first set of critical dice. So jump into our Discord and message Chris Solo uh, to claim your prize. Um, and everyone else, oh, including you if you want to win again, exclamation point critical in the chat, and we will draw that one at the end of the show. Um, yeah, so back into the game. We left off with Fizzlewick going and reaching for the cheese the twig being pulled um, from the crate. The crate drops on top, and there's a rumble from above. Fizzlewick, you have no idea. The crate is completely solid. You guys, uh, I would say uh, passively, uh, the Spooky Sisters, you guys instantly look up, and you see this <laughs> just about suspended boulder with the old rope tied around it going across a couple of very rickety pulleys and you see the rope as it draws through and the boulder crashes down nope said, okay girl see that <laughs> there's nothing i can do we have time to react um if you okay. have anything to react with. Um, I will. Very quick, very quick, very quick. I, I want to run and jump and, and kick the box and slide it away from the rock fall. Can I try that? Holy shit. Okay, make, uh, make uh, an athletics check. Are you just like soccer sliding to kick it away? Well, I'm thinking more dexterity based type thing, like doing a little sidekick and jumping away at the same time in the opposite direction if you can't do it i won't do it there, there is a fraction of a second that you have to run in and react so you can hit the box all right you want me to roll for it yeah i would make uh make an athletics check if you're gonna go and knock the box away mm -hmm. and then um make a dexterity saving throw after that Okay. Plus. What X. I'm going to roll one of my inspos for the athletics check. That's what that works. <laughs> um, so that's a 16 for the athletics check. And then deck saving throw. Okay, so Kaya just takes off running towards the crate and slaps it with his tail as it as it uh Fizzlewick, you kind of see through the grate this green tail just slap the crate as you, as it forces you backwards slightly. <clears throat> Dexterity saving throw. And I'm gonna inspo that too. I, I, I it's a nineteen with my modifier, but I'm still gonna inspo it. <laughs> Dex save oh, for me? No, for me. Um, 20, 22 for my deck saving throw. 22? Yeah, that succeeds. So you you will take half damage because you tried to do two actions at once. So um, you run in and slap the crate away and Fizzlewick you <laughs> kind of sent careening across the floor away from where you were as... Kaya, you look up and just start diving out of the way. The boulder makes contact with you and you take eight points of bludgeoning damage. As it <laughs> and bounces and rolls away to the corner. Followed by lots of skittering. You hear it all around the walls. 
looking up, do I see uh, like ledges or anything up top? Nope. Hmm. You see the pulley system with a um, another like thicker rope, obviously that was was holding it and uh, holding the boulder, and it goes through um, uh, through the the wall right at the top. Got it. Kaya, are you all right? Yeah, I'll survive. I've I've been I've been through worse. I'll survive. Um, it hurt a little bit, but I'm good. I'm okay. walking off. I'll uh, rush over and lift the box off of Fizzlewick. Didn't quite go as planned. Are you all right as well? Yeah. What happened? Nothing. <laughs> There's like a boulder in the background. <laughs> Rose, make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> with, with disadvantage. You said deception? Yeah. Uh, Fizzlewick, you can make an insight if you'd like to. Six. Eleven. <laughs> Something gonna, happened, Fizzlewick. <laughs> I'm gonna um, kind of nonchalantly pull out this potion of healing and and drink it. <laughs> so, so Jay, is there any way to get around to the other side of the wall? Or do we have to like get out and cross the water? And I mean, you guys can go back out onto the other walkway and continue uh -huh. down. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, yeah, Lost Lost patience is like, like uh, all used up. And, and he just looks at the party. And he goes, I'm long lived but not this long lived. And he this is, he just goes for the, the entrance and he's kind of mad, pissed off. Yeah. Okay, so you leave the room and start walking down, yeah. back down the, the sewer way. Yep, yep. Yeah. I hand uh, Rhapsody the piece of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> just just magical cheese. Just that again. <laughs> Where are you it's going to come in handy. You can add small block of cheese to your small equipment. Block of cheese. Hey, Lost, where are you, where are you going? Um, why, why are you walking away? Oh, I'm going to kill those little creatures. Well, I, I don't disagree that we should do something about this. It, it really hurt. But it, it wasn't, they're just trying to find food. We came no. in and started antagonizing them. They were smarter than that. They, they outsmarted us. They made us think that that was a trap for for food, and they were actually looking to drop a boulder and kill whatever. For uh, food. Well, maybe we don't underestimate them again. I think that's what I learned here. However, I do think that the only way out of here is back out the way that we came or further down the tunnel. We can't fit through this doorway. Well, not all of us. So perhaps Lost is correct in going further in. I'm not saying he's not correct to go further. I just don't think that we should go on a murdering rampage. Oh, absolutely not. There is no reason to kill everyone. How about just that one? But why? Oh. Well, hmm. L Lily, I think you're giving him much credit i mean they know we're not food i spoke to them in draconic even um but I, i'm i'm beginning to wonder if they really understand draconic that well but we were in this room we still are in this room and they're not attacking us well because they know we kicked their butt you know in a fair fight you know they're, they're smarter than, they might not be smart but they're smarter than that they know that they couldn't win in a in a fair you know a fair fight. They got to use their you know their little I wouldn't call them cowardly ways. It's actually well, if you simple. attack them, I will not help. I'm not saying to attack them, but I'm just saying they struck us. We didn't strike them. We came in here speaking all friendly like, and we came in antagonizing them, and they did what they were set up to do. Mm -hmm. Well, well, they can communicate. So how about 
once we get to them, we try to communicate first. Not go in guns blazing. All right? I'm, I'm down for that. All right. Okay. It might be a lot easier to get the things back that we're looking for. We'll ask for the po- the very valuable potions that they stole. We'll ask for it, for them to return it to us nicely. Well, I don't know about you, but I can be pretty persuasive. <laughs> All right. Very let's well. go. <clears throat> um, I'll assume you guys were kind of doing this walking and talking. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> so uh, you guys make... Make it down further down the uh, the sewer pipeway, and let me pull up my map so I can track you guys. Please hold. Okay. <clears throat> um. Yeah. So uh, a little way further down, maybe uh, forty or so feet, you come to a junction way. Uh, there is a uh, another sewer pipe with a grate uh, ahead of you, um, and there seems to be like water pouring out, <clears throat> um, maybe just a couple of feet above where the water actually is uh, in in the main sewer way, and it's kind of just like pouring in um, in a very very tiny waterfall, um, and there is. Uh, a passage to the left and a passage to the right. Is there a light going both ways or is one way lit and the other way is dark? Both are lit. Both are lit. Um, I would want to look for any kind of sign from like, look one way and then the other way. If there is there movement, is there sound? Um. With your passive perception, you you just hear more drips. You hear like the it's it's a loud kind of gushing uh, that's coming from the the drain pipe in front of you, um, but nothing kind of catches your eye, unless you you can roll for it to see if for a perception. Or, yep, if you actively want to try and pin something out, it's a sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, no, it's nothing. Nothing jumps out at you. Well, literally or figuratively. Well, what what direction would sort of take us in the dir- in the in the direction of like we were on one side of the of the sewer? Like, what direction will we take to like go in that direction of where the kobolds were? Uh, you you would go left. I think we should go left. All right, let's go left. Without question, I would just do it. <laughs> I'll just do it. Okay. Um, marching order, are we back to Lost and Fizzlewick, Rose and Kaya, Lily, Rhapsody? Are we yeah. back to that formation? <laughs> yep, cool. Probably okay. roughly, yeah. 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 Um, I would say on the walkways, it's it's just about wide enough for you to be like either right next to each other, size dependent, or just just slightly staggered. Um, but uh, you guys continue uh, turn left and then continue down um, the sewer way again. It looks just like all of the other ones, um, but. Uh, Lost and Fizzlewick, you're up front. You guys make the perception check. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Yeah. All right. Ten. Ten. Okay. Um, lost. You. You look down and start to see Fizzlewick walking towards a very, very thin wire that runs across the sewer lengthways, uh, width, width ways, sorry. 
I quickly grab him by the the scruff of his uh his cloak and and uh, armor, whatever I can grab, and I just lift him back off the ground. <laughs> yeah, so like from the scruff. From the scruff. Just <laughs> yank him back, like. Fizzlewick, you suspended. Careful there, little one. Look below. Mm. There's a trip wire. Well, then don't step on it. And uh, <laughs> is it just uh, just the one trip wire that I see? Uh, yes. Um, with your perception check, if you like stop and look down, you'll notice um, one of the small doorways is right next to it. Huh. Like the small ones where, like not, not people with an actual doorway. Uh, like the one of the um, the very small doorways. Got it, got it. Hmm. Um, yeah, I, I will put Fizzlewick on the opposite side of the string. And then I'll I'll uh I'll whisper back. There's a tripwire, another one of these trap strings. My vote is for Fizzlewick to throw a fireball, a fireball in there. I think that's but it's a just bad my idea. vote. <laughs> well, you know, it's probably not a good idea to waste a spell of, of that caliber when you don't know what's in there. We didn't come here to exterminate the people who live inside the sewers. We came to retrieve potions. Well. Not well. I'm, I'm not That's a, just a fact. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not promoting violence against the, them. When we, I'm going to get up to the door and try to speak into the door and say, hello, friend. Um, I've got a snack for you. You speaking in common? <clears throat> yes. Uh, you just, with your, your passive, you, you just kind of hear skittering. Uh, away, like claws on the stone, like leaving. Yeah, almost like Pingu slaps on the ground. They don't seem to want to talk to us. Maybe we just continue on. Be careful of the wire. Do we see what it triggers? Like what would happen if the wire was triggered? Um, not from not from this side. If you wanted to continue on, are we okay with continuing on? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. I would suggest that one of you two, more perceptive ones, head up the head up the. The vanguard here. I will gladly be up in the front. Me and my little shield will walk up to the front. And I'll be right next to Rose. Okay. So change in order. Okay. So, um, sisters, as you guys tread forward, um, there is an opening to your left, much like the other one. It's just a small kind of cutaway, uh, brick room. I want to look up first. You look up and as you look up, you see a ceiling. Okay. No boulders in this one, Millie. That's good. Yeah. Any little doorways? Um, yeah, I mean, you know what you're looking for now. 
And so you do see uh, one off in the the diagonal corner from where you were kind of just meeting the um, the opening to your left. Okay. I think this room might be a waste of time. We can't all get through these little doors and I'm not sure what we would find. It's probably best to continue on. I agree. Are you, did you, did you still want to look for the, for what it was triggering or are you just yes. like? Yes. What was it triggering? Okay. Well, I need to roll perception. You, you don't see it from this, from this side. You just kind of see the door and the opening. If you continue towards like the, the main entrance of this one, you'd be able to um, take a look inside that room, see if there's anything in there. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll look around in the room. Okay. Um, so it's really not hard to miss. As you walk in uh, and look to your left, <coughs> there is um, sprung against the, um, against the, the inside wall. So as you turn left against the left wall again, um, is almost like, like a really bad makeshift catapult um, that has a small cup on it. And inside that cup, there are three dead skunks. Oh. And they're covered in some kind of sticky substance. Ew. Mm. Better leave, we better leave that alone. Yeah. And we'll look around for anything else of interest in this area and then move on. Okay. Um, I mean, there's, there's nothing really in there. Um, Rhapsody, make a perception check for me. Okay. It's a seven. Okay. Good to know. Um, also, he might be slightly distracted, but Rhapsody is making like X's every time we're turning left and right so that we don't get lost in these winding tunnels. Um, okay. So like, you're like marking the floor? Yeah, with like a shade of makeup that he doesn't use because it gives him like bad lighting or something. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. Okay. Um, yeah, so girls, you start leaving the room and with your passive, you start to see the catapult moving away from the wall very, very slightly. Do we see what's moving it? No, I mean, behind it is like a, um, a strung up triggering mechanism. But it's kind of, and you can see the twine that's starting to fray. Um, are we in range of that? Like, is that going to hit us? I mean, you're standing right in front of it. If you want to move away, you can. We would like to move on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you guys move out of the doorway. And as you kind of look around, look back towards your friends, you see like past them behind Rhapsody. There is a very small kobold in a little kind of tattered loincloth with a um, a spear under one arm and a knife in the other, and he's kind of hacking away at the uh, at the tripwire. How far away from us is he? Are those the rest of us coming in? Like fifteen feet behind you. I cast command. Okay. What do you command? Well, is it, what is it? A wisdom save? Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Ooh, what's it look like when you cast command? Uh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that is an 18 minus two. It's a 16. 
bitch. What was your DC? 15. <sighs> Little bitch. <laughs> so you I see his eyes kind of glaze over. You see his eyes kind of glaze over for a second, then he <laughs> shakes it off and then just abandons and skitters back into the door as it. I'm beginning to think y'all were meant to be hit with a skunk <laughs> as my magic doesn't work. Um, we're not really getting anywhere with any of them. Maybe we should set a trap for them. <laughs> we kind of tried that with Fizzlewick no. and it really didn't work. <laughs> no, no, I mean... You stand over there right next to that door when he comes out and I'll go stand in front of the, um, that thing that's going to throw stuff. It's what's it called? A catapult. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to go stand in front of that and pretend to be a target, even though I can see him. Um, but if someone will stand next to that door when he comes out, then you can just step in front of the door and block him from going back in. And then we can talk to him. Lily can try to talk to him, or you. What do you think, Lily? We you know the rise are just going to be wandering around these sewers looking for these potions for that, you know, guy that didn't want to come do this himself. All right. I will, I'll go to the doorway and kind of perch myself next to it to see if Maybe I can catch him when he comes out. I'll assist as well. Thank you. I'm going to go walk out there kind of where y'all were standing when he was trying to, you know, use the catapult. I'm going to pretend to be a target. Oh, my. I'm, uh, I'm just standing here. I don't know what to do. <laughs> where should I go next? Make a make a deception check. <laughs> I mean, it's, maybe maybe persuasion would be better because that was really true. <laughs> um, thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, it's plus zero either way. This time you feel really confident in your acting skills. <laughs> and um, Rhapsody and Lily, where are you standing? On either side either of the side floor. Of the... Either side of the flap? Yeah. Okay. So you see the flap mm. as one little skinny clawed red scaly hand comes out holding a knife as it kind of tries to reach the uh, the string to start cutting it again. I grab his arm and pull him up. Okay. Uh, make, make, a, make a strength check. No. Uh, okay. I'm going to use my, my soaps to like quickly, furiously try and wrap it around. <laughs> okay. Um, Billow him up. Then um, uh, uh, make a strength check with advantage uh, for Rose. Make a strength check with advantage. Oh, yeah. As, as you are being aided by the many silks of Rhapsody. <laughs> it's going to be a 14 with inspiration. Mm. 14. Thanks. I rolled a 15 minus 2. Oh. 13. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So with your quick wits, you manage to grab the kobold and it seems to pull like harder than you thought, but you still manage to kind of drag him. So his, his little snoot just kind of sticks out and you see these wide eyes just like darting around the room as he like <laughs> it starts hyperventilating. I'm going to like try to get close, like just get down on his level and be like, friend, do you understand me? Yes. Uh, he's he's <laughs> he's screaming in terror. I'm gonna use my um, 
I can speak to him in his mind. Um, okay. And I'm going to say it's, it's okay. We're not going to hurt you. It's no one is going to hurt you. I promise. I won't let anyone hurt you. And we, we just want to, we want to say hi. We're not, I reach into my sat like side and I give them a little piece of like, I have rations. So a piece of bread of some, some kind and I hand it to him. Friend. You're still speaking common. Yes. Okay. He'll try, uh, Rhapsody will try and translate it basic, basic words in draconic, like friend and food, safe food. <laughs> in my, my psionic mind feature, um, it doesn't have to have it. Yep. They just have to, be able to understand the language. Yep. Um, yeah. So you see the, the, this kobold just starts going panicked. And then stops, and his eyes just go wide as Kai, you start speaking into his brain using your psychic dragon powers. <laughs> and um, he looks utterly confused and terrified, and then looks at Rose as Rose is saying, friend, in common, and looks really confused. And then Rhapsody kind of... <laughs> Rhapsody, make, make a... Um, uh an intelligence check or a make make a make a history check okay as you try to remember the word friends uh, in draconic 16. 16 okay that's good that's fine it's this is a common <laughs> a common word almost like where is the library um <laughs> so <laughs> you um you utter the word friend and draconic as it Darts to you and looks very confused, but isn't doing anything, but seems to have uh, stopped its uh, physical fight against you. I'm going to pull out a silver piece, kind of let the light reflect off of it. I'm going to hold it out to him. Look, here you go. You can keep it. You're speaking in? In his head. Oh, okay. Again, he looks very, very confused at what's happening because you're gesturing to him, but your mouth isn't moving, but he hears you in his mind. I'm, I'm and... going to start moving my mouth with words, even though no sound is coming. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see him kind of shake his head and then like, oh, it must have must have been me. <laughs> and he just kind of points towards the, uh, the, the hand that is grasping his tiny little arm. I'm going to put the silver piece in his other free hand. You can keep it. And he turns to you in draconic, like broken draconic again. I have arm back. Okay. And I'll now I'll start speaking out loud in draconic again. I'm going to say, don't, just don't run away. Okay. Are you going to run away? No run. No run. Okay. All right, y'all, y'all let go of his arm. I'll He's not going to run. You let go? I let go. Please set him down, well, unweave well, the silks. Just, just block the uh, the exits so he can't get out. I, I, will, I will put my foot, like my leg in front of that little swingy door. So it, it was just his head that was out and his arm? Oh, I pulled him all the way out. I understood that he was out, I thought. Yeah. Yeah, but, well, it, you... I had described that you pulled him and his head came out. Oh. So he, he tries to back out and the flap gets caught on the back of his head and he, oh, and you see his eyes just bulge for a second. It's, it's okay, friend. You don't have to look, come on out. And I'm going to hold his hand and I'm not going to pull. I'm just going to hold his hand gently 
and kind of coax him out. Don't let him go back in, you guys. And I say that in common. Make a persuasion check with advantage because it's indraconic. All right. Natural 20. I don't even need to roll again. Woohoo! All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. In this, uh, this beautiful I mean, moment of this tiny dragon those. taking a larger dragon's hand. <laughs> Uh, nice string quartet playing in the background, building it up. He looks to you and in that moment fully trusts you and starts to crawl out of the hole. All right, friend. How are you doing? Mm. Head hurts. Yeah. Yeah. My my back hurts. Y'all y'all dropped a big rock on me. Oh, that you? Yeah. Oh. Mm. And you see him look back and look down at the string. And he puts his head against the wall. And he lies down on his belly and says, You should duck. Okay. Um, if I duck. Does he all go down? <laughs> yeah. At that minute, you hear as the catapult swings around at full pe- full speed and slams into the wall on the other side and then jettisons three dead skunks as they <laughs> overhead and sploosh for a second before they float up and then start drifting down. What, what's your name? I just, thank you. My name Croc. Croc? Croc. My name's Kaya. Yeah. You know what? I want to be your friend. Okay. Yeah. You you just saved me from getting hit in the back of the head with a skunk. Yeah. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Well, I just want to let you know the reason we're all down here, because y'all stole some potions from, from someone up on the street, and he asked us to come get them. Oh. That what? was... That was... Zock. Zock? Well... Zock. Maybe we could make a trade. You give us the potions back, and we'll get something else for you to take to keep. I don't know what yet. But you can keep that silver piece I gave you. And he kind of holds it. It's pretty, pretty sizable in his little hand. He looks at it and shoves it halfway into his loincloth so it, it's still showing. Um, make, yeah, make another persuasion check. Just straight this time. This is a strong persuasion. 15. 15 will do it. I have a plus zero in persuasion, so this is <laughs> this is like <laughs> it thin. Um he's like, okay, I take you. Um, not easy to get person from Zark. Zark oh. really like drinks. Um, you guys, we're gonna have to make a trade. Do y'all have anything you might want to give up? I'm, I'm going to give up another silver piece, but I'm not sure, you know, Rose, maybe you could pull a few, a few roses. I bet that would be. I mean, I always would give a new friend a rose and I'll actually pull one and give it to Croc. Uh, it's, it's red. Yeah, like you. It's in Draconic. You oh, just yeah. hear. He said it's red. Yeah, like him. And I'll repeat that to him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so you do the translation thing. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, come this way. And he um, starts I'm, leading you through. I'm still holding his way. hand, but gently. Okay. 
Um, you uh, you pass several rooms on the way. We'll kind of skip through this as you've managed to coerce one of the kobolds into showing you the way through. Um, there are um, uh, there is uh, there's one room that you go past which um, just has a rug in the middle of it that is bowed in the center. <laughs> I'm not I'm not positive, guys, but I think there's probably a hole under that rug. Probably want to walk around it. Um, new friends are smart. And then he keeps going. Uh, you guys walk past a um, uh, another room that has a, a large X on the floor in the middle of it. Hmm. What's that for? You know, maybe we shouldn't stand on that X. It's a surprise. Like the boulder. Oh. Mm. No. Less owl. Well, Croc, you wouldn't let your new friend get hurt, would you? No. Okay. I wouldn't let anything happen to you either if you came up on the streets with me. I would, you would still be my friend up there too. And I could show you around. I don't know very much about the place. I just got in town, but you know, you got a friend in me. Mm, okay. So where's your friend, Zoc? Okay. So he looks disappointed, but he keeps guiding you. Um, um, you guys also come across another tripwire that he guides you across um, and then points up. And you can see that there is a cluster of um, wasp hives hmm. together, kind of strung up the same way as the boulder. Um, you guys make it past um, another... You make a couple of turns and then um, come across another like room to the side, but it's over the other side of the water. Um, and he just says, watch this, and throws a little rock um, at the floor. And um, glue is dropped from the, from the ceiling, just poof, followed by... A, uh, a myriad of chicken feathers as they settle in the glue. <laughs> Croc, um, do y'all get a lot of people come down here? Or it's just, are y'all playing tricks on each other? Um, sometimes by accident. Oh, all right. Well, y'all are, prepared. are prepared for any type of invasion, aren't you? He says that as he points to another room, as you go around another corner, he points to another room that has uh, another boulder. This one is like a cube shaped and it has dropped already. And there is um, two very small arms poking out of either side and you see just a couple of nostrils sticking out in front. Oh no. Accident? Uh, accident. Yeah. All right. Well, that's sad. Okay. So keep going. And eventually he comes to a room where he says, and goes inside, uh, goes into one of the flaps, and you watch him kind of disappear as his tail goes in as it. And you wait for a minute. And then all of a sudden. <laughs> a section of the wall spins slightly to 90 degrees that's in front of you. So it turns so that the wall is, is, is facing you and there's now an opening on the other side. It's, it's going to be a tight squeeze for you to get through, but you should just about be able to get through. All right. I'm going to go through. Okay. Trusting my little friend. Yep. So uh, as you kind of squeeze yourself through, you kind of look 
look down to the side and you see Croc there standing, kind of pulling grabby hands towards you. All right, I'm um, coming. All of you making your way through it. Yep. yep. Sweet. yep. And then ahead is um, a set of very rickety stairs that is just kind of hammered together. Some of the nails are like hanging out to the sides and stuff and they've hit it and it's just bent. Um, and it's barely kind of holding together, but it is a, it's a set of stairs that leads up to an opening that is uh, lit. Oh. All right, I'm gonna climb up there. Yep, so uh, Croc leads the way um, on all fours, like up the stairs. Uh, are you, are you just trusting the stairs? Yep. Okay. At this point, at this point he's saved me from several traps. I'm going to trust him. Okay. Um, Kaya, make a perception check. Uh, 21. No, 22. 22. Okay. So, yeah, there are several steps there that you see probably would not take your weight. And so by inspecting it carefully, you manage to just step over them onto the stronger looking ones, uh, being the heaviest out of the group. That was pretty important. Although Lost has some pretty heavy armor. Yeah. I've also got a big head. <laughs> Wait <a ton. laughs> Hard to fit through doors. <laughs> All right. And watch, watch that step there, Lost. It's a little rickety. You might not. You might fall through. I'll I'll follow. I'll just uh, pay attention to where Kaya is stepping and follow. Okay, so we have Kaya up front, Rosie right behind. It's Lily, I think. With Lily, yep, twinned. Yep. And then who do we have behind? Lost. Lost, and then Rhapsody, Fizzlewick, kind of just in the midst uh okay so you guys make your way up the stairs and then turn to a um like a, a, a fairly like pretty well lit room like there's um there are more torches in here um around the walls it's spaced a lot closer together than um than in uh in the sewerways and so as you go in uh there is a uh there's um a chest just to the right and then there's a doorway up in front are is is Croc still in front of me or did he already go through a doorway yep no he was waiting at the top okay. of the stairs all right where, where are we going now croc uh, through doors. Okay. Uh, unless one chest. Yeah, what's in that? Oh, I didn't hear that. What? Should, should Kyle, I look? ask him what's in the chest? Well, should I look in the chest or is this another trap? You can lurk. Is it a trap? You. Why don't you go look for me? He goes over and he um, starts to pull and he's like... Ugh. Inside. Uh, I'm, inside check. Yes. Okay. <laughs> inside check to figure this one out. Um, I'm gonna stand behind him and put my arms on either side. So he can't just 22. run. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah. Yeah, he's faking it. I thought you, so. You can you can see like in his little sinewy uh, dragonoid arms. There's no tension in the muscles. They're, they're not working. Kaya, he's faking that. Yeah, I figured he was. Hey, um, Croc, are you trying to play a trick on me? Like you, a me? Is it a have, me trick? You have your hands on his shoulders right behind him. Mm -hmm. He ducks and flips the chest open and poof, this white dust fills the air around you and you are covered 
You look like a ghost. Can we discern what this dust is? Um, how do you want to discern? What does it taste like? I'm sure I got some in my mouth. Uh, make a constitution saving throw. Right, that's what I'm thinking. Like, what? <laughs> uh, um, may, make a like a, a, a nature check, I guess. All right. Okay. Is Croc just laughing his head off, or what's his reaction? Like he's ducked and he's just turning over as they're trying to discern what this is in the and, moment. And I'm looking down at him, licking my lips, and like with a a bit of amusement, but also like li- just trying to get a flavor. So kind of a puzzling at the same time as I'm kind of smiling and, and amused at him with his little trick. Okay. What was your roll? 13. Mine was a 10. Um, that taste is pretty familiar and you try and rack your brain because it doesn't really, there's not a huge flavor to it, but it, it rings something and then it's there. You didn't really remember it because you didn't remember tasting this as a raw ingredient before, but it's flour. Okay. Yeah. You got antiqued by a kobold. Yeah. It's just flour. We we used to grind it up on the farm, you know, grinding wheat. You can get flour from it. This is all it is. And Croc is right now doubled over on his belly, like <laughs> that. Okay, so this time I'm gonna talk in his head. I'm gonna say, that was a good trick, Croc. And he looks uneasy and he just kind of stops laughing and it's okay. It was just me. Uh, uh, Frond. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> and um, Croc stays with us forever. I love that. <laughs> no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and he uh, he he grabs your hand this time and like pulls on your like finger, um, <laughs> and points towards the door and um. He, cra- these are like full size doors. Um, so he kind of just cracks it a little bit, and I'll let him lead me through. through. Yeah, and he walks through. So you you push the door the rest of the way open. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what you see is just as the doors open, uh, everyone that's looking through. It's it's not hard to see. It's a very open room. Um, there are. Um, there's lots of trash around the place, just bits and pieces, like barrels and crates and uh, all sorts of things that have just been kind of mishmashed together. Um, you guys look down, you see there's like almost like hard rigged together crossbows that are kind of built the same way as the stairs, though, like with these just bits of wood that have been kind of nailed together. Um and ahead of you sits a larger kobold than um, than Croc. Um, and uh, he is sitting on, again, another makeshift. It's, it's a chair, but the arms are uneven and there's there's one leg that's shorter than the other. And so he keeps like rocking back and then rocking forth as it, as he kind of sits forward, he's trying to find a balance point for it. There's a couple of other kobolds just kind of scurrying through things at the back. All right. So I'm going to walk up in front of him and I'm going to take off my, my hat. so He can see me and I'm going to kneel down in front of him. And I'm going to say, Hi there. My name is Kaya. How are you doing? Oh, so you're walking up to um, the, the, the uh, kobold in the in the chair? Doc, right. If that's who he is. Uh, you would assume. Yeah. Uh, so before you get there, a bunch of the other kobolds like look up and grab their spears and just kind of hold it out in front. Well, On closer doing- inspection, you can see that they're less spears and more just kind of pointy sticks. Yeah. And I was doing it in a very non-threatening way. It was very, uh, like a submissive, like getting down on my knee, kind of a 
on his level and they stop you about 20 feet away from him oh okay that's further away than i thought all right and i'm gonna i'm gonna well I, before i kneel down then i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm just gonna kind of squat i'm gonna say hi hi there my, na- my name is kaya can i can i come a little closer and he uh who you assume to be zark turns and leans over and tries to look like menacing and just says no <laughs> you stay all right i i'm just coming to say hello um Croc, Croc here is, is a new friend of mine. I met him earlier, and um, I told him that the only reason we're down here in y'all's home is because y'all took some things from someone up up in the streets, and he asked us to get them back from you. We're not here to hurt you. We just, you know, maybe we could trade for them. I, you know, I don't know what what you might want, but I gave him a little silver piece, and you know, I'll give you one too if you want it. And he's just kind of eyeing you up as Croc pulls on your finger again and then points and just says, ah, that sock. Yeah, I, I, I gathered that. Yeah. Yes, it's a sock. Zock. Zock. Yes. And then, you know, I'll take off my, my hat and so he can see like what I am. Hmm. What you give? What you give? Is he speaking in common? I'm going to... I'm going to take my knife out and I'm going to flick off an emerald scale. And I'm going to hold it out. And he points to one of the kobolds and just says, Get! And so the kobold kind of puts his spear on the floor and then holds his hand out to you. Yeah, to and, I, and I hand it and I drop it in his hand. Mm. All right. And he takes it and runs back to uh, Zok and, and presents it above his head. That's part of me. That's special. He picks it up between his claws. Mm. It's shiny. Shiny yeah. herd. And he puts yeah. it to the side and says, what give? What give? Anybody else got anything? Rose? Oh. Sure. So I'll pull a rose out from behind my ear and I'll hold it around and show it to everybody. And then I'll cast light on the rose so i have a rose that is now casting 20 feet of light as you as you pull the rose out and the rose remains in your hair as you extend it from there they're all like all their jaws drop as they see this they don't often see magic um And I would say with that, you kind of surmise that that's why they love these potions so much. Um, As you do that, and they're like, wow, look at that. And you touch the light. And with that flash, they all (laughs) and grab their eyeballs and just start running around crazily, start stabbing out at thin air with their spears. Oops. Oh no. One of them gets stabbed by another one and it's ah as it takes a spear into the side. And one of them is a it's a 16 to hit Kaya, because Kaya's the closest one. It doesn't hit. It doesn't hit. Okay, so it, you see it coming because they're just flailing around, and uh it just about misses you as you kind of push them off to the side and guide them away as they kind of skitter off in a straight line, just stabbing at things. 
and I'm gonna and I'm just gonna kind of raise my voice and and holler and draconic, calm, calm down. It's it's just a rose. It's just a rose. And after a couple of seconds of them having their eyes closed, they kind of just start to squint through and start holding their hands out and just kind of finding the wall and things around them. Uh, and Croc, I, who I was... I will stop the light spell on the flower. Croc, who was, who was uh, still holding your finger below you, just says, Friend, my eyes hurt. I'm so sorry. She, she, she didn't mean to do that. I promise. Um, and I don't have anything to help your eyes feel better. I'm so sorry. I see stars. It'll go away in a minute. Just, there's, just there's so many stars. Yeah, it'll go away in a minute. I promise. Oops. Okay. Good to know. I hand, um, I hand the no longer lit rose to the one, I guess, whoever's in front of us. <laughs> There's no one in front of you now. Oh. <laughs> They're all like scattered to the walls, like just kind of finding their way back. Uh, <laughs> as you look towards uh, Zok, who is sat in his throne, um, you can see he's like maintained his like, mean expression but his eyes are super dilated <laughs> and he's looking slightly in the wrong direction <laughs> what rose. give what give as he's Linda rose um i'm i'm really sorry and i'll just say this in common I, i've i've never met anybody like you guys before and i i didn't know that you have sensitive eyes. I probably should have figured that out because you guys live in the sewer. Sorry. He's still facing the wrong direction, has no idea where you are. Do you, you give him the rose, like you put it in his hand? Yeah. And he like grips it and goes, oh. oh. <laughs> you see a little bit of blood drip from his hand as he like holds it together and <laughs> brings it to him doesn't really see it but acknowledges its presence <laughs> um rose make a uh, persuasion check with disadvantage because Why? you just blinded the entire room of kobolds <laughs> Um, it's going to be a 12. 12. Okay. He like takes it and throws it on the ground. <clears throat> raptive, raptive, as his eyes start to come back to normal as he like corrects himself and faces you again. I'll give him a piece of copper. Okay. So he takes it and looks at it. Oh. It's shiny. Mm. Last, uh, and he pulls the the scale and looks at the two. Mm. Puts the scale back, drops the copper on the floor. Last, uh, <laughs> okay. Last week he did. into his uh, his his uh, uh, inner jacket pocket. He pulls out his flask. He kind of looks at it longingly and goes and, and gives just a big sigh of. <sighs> he walks over to uh, Kaya and he says, Can they understand common? I mean, they've, they've said a few, like, like he's saying what give in, in common, right? Or is he saying that in cobalt? Cobalt. I mean, um, draconic. draconic. Um, if you need me to say something in draconic, I'll say it for you. I don't think you I don't think you're deceptive enough uh, uh, well, I, well give, I give I give Kaya the uh, the uh, the fire branding and I tell Kaya 
But I'll be this. I tell Kaya, tell him that this is a very special drink and that only the strongest are able to drink it and survive. Is this going to hurt him? Is this, It's not poisonous, is it? I can fire brandy. Oh, it's, it's alcohol. Okay. It's really right. strong alcohol. All right. Yeah, it, it really is. All right. Yeah, you, your nose kicks back instinctively mm -hmm. if you smell it. Oof. All right. Um, I'm going to hand it. I'm going to hold it out and I'm going to hand it to him. I'm going to say in COBOL or in, in, why don't you keep doing that? In Draconic, this is very strong, very strong alcohol. Only the only strong Tough people can drink it and 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 survive. And I will lost, lost Ross stands up to his like this highest as, as tall as he can. He just goes. And I'm gonna say in draconic, I I'm not drinking it. I'm not brave enough. Zark brave. Zark strong. Be be careful, Zark. Oof. As he oh, just no. starts chugging it. Oh Lord. As he, uh, boom, 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 boom. He's probably about to pass out. He throws it down. He looks at you. And for a brief second, Kaya, like almost in like an anime slow motion as your eyes kind of meet, you see a hint of green in his red scales. <laughs> as he <laughs> and just starts heaving over the side of his throne onto the floor. <laughs> he looks up and he's just got vomit just like dripping from his snout. You're alive. Goes, You're they very hurt. hurt. They hurt, Zark. They hurt, Zark. And he like backs up and falls off of the uh, throne. The throne poosh, hits the ground and just shatters because it was barely held together. As he backs his way up into the corner and opens a small chest and just grabs a handful of flasks and just brings them up to his neck and just starts chugging oh like five of these potions at once as they all disappear. The he throws the glass to the side as he starts <clears throat> <clears throat> and you see as his form starts to change as his muscles start building out and billowing from his body, his bones start cracking in different directions as spines grow from the front of his head and he starts growing bigger and bigger and wings just burst from its back as he towers above you, standing 12 foot high and that is where we're going to end tonight's session. Oh my God. Uh. Lost, Lost just scratches his head. He looks over at Kai and he's like, well, I didn't think the Kobo was that stupid. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to look back at you and I'm say, Lost, you're really an ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. Woo! All right. <laughs> Oh my God. Hilarious. That was fun. Hey guys, in the chat, uh, last chance to enter nope. exclamation point critical for the uh, last giveaway. Darth Rainer made it. Oh, is it, has it been called already? Yep. Oh, Darth Rainer. There you go. You are the winner. The second winner. Jump into the Discord. Message Chris Solo. <laughs> Claim your prize, which is rightfully yours. And uh, yes, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, for joining us. This was stupid fun. Uh, <laughs> Fabled Cheesegate 2021 is now a thing. Uh, Cheesegate. We are, <laughs> we're, we're getting ready to raid uh, Perception Studio. That's the puppets, right? D&D. Yep. D&D. Puppets cool. playing D&D. Like, I, I don't know. Like, are, are we the only thing that's better than that? Maybe. I, yeah. I didn't say it. Maybe. <laughs> <You kinda did. laughs> 
Uh, thank you so much, guys, for joining us. Please uh, join us tomorrow uh, at the same time, 6 p.m. Pacific, for uh, the next episode of Fate of Ukador. Uh No Legends on Monday, but there'll be something. No Realms on Wednesday, but there'll be something. And <laughs> then back to us on Friday to see what happens with this Swalbold. Oh, Swalbold. God. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank All you right. so much. Bye. See you guys. Thank you. Bye.